Well, I decided to put that white panel in there, and I'm just now putting on the first coat. It'll take two coats for sure, and maybe even one more. But that'll give me a lot of reflected light from the LED up there, onto here, and onto the table. Need plenty of light when weeding different signs and things. Got lots more to do, lots more to see. So keep coming back, please, and thank you for being here. Well, that's painted, and it reflects a lot of light, especially when I get my LED up here on the roof, ceiling, I should say, reflect a lot of light down onto this right here. I can see the lights that are up here reflect in that and reflect down here, which is kind of cool. So that's, I may pinstripe it with something like a, a red maybe or a blue about a quarter inch, just a little more flare. Okay, that's it for tonight. Let that dry overnight and then I'll come back in the morning and put this back up and maybe start working on that wall right over there. I gotta check some dimensions, make sure everything's right and then I can start on that. So this section is, this module is done except of course for the trim work and that's comes in last so so as far as I'm concerned this is pretty much done I'm probably gonna take some felt and put it right up along here so that this edge rides on felt not you know on paint so little things little things all right got lots more coming up this is only about a fifth not even a fifth tenth of the work that needs to be done so I got plenty more keep checking back doing some mock-up again up here I'm gonna have a on-demand hot water heater the piping will go up across to there as you can hear we've got some construction going on next door so thinking about putting propane tank right there but I'm not sure because I've got to get to it easy to get it refilled I may bring it over into this cabinet toilet area here I want to make sure I get enough room for everything and then my batteries these are battery size so let me see I got a almost a foot between there and there so that should be enough. And of course the shower is over there. I may redo this. So this wall is good where it's at. I've got all measurements. So I just got to figure all this out. Starting on my last wall. As you can see I've got it just roughed in here. There'll be a a door right here which will swing there goes something will swing out you walk in and toilet will be right there shower is going to be right there so all i'm going to do today is probably get this all in and get this side sheeted and then i'm going to start working on all the cabinets for here go all the way up so, this is how it begins, light and strong. We got the horizontals in, it's a little hard to see. And it looks kind of weird because a short distance there, a longer distance there, and a long distance there. But what I'm trying to do is keep my screw pattern. One here, one horizontal there, one horizontal there. That'll keep the screw pattern throughout the bus. The bus. Throughout the trailer. And of course, as you can see, I kept the, the pattern here too, which is a little hard to see. Here, here, and then down there. As a matter of fact, I got another one down there. Let me see why I got one down there. Yeah, I got another horizontal down there 
which I don't think I'll need for up here. Because I'm going to have a bunch of verticals in there too. So, All right, coming together. As you can see, this is plumb right here from top to bottom. But to get there, I had to come down here because this is kicked out. This bottom is kicked out. Had to put a spacer in there and another spacer up here. This bottom is kicked out this way and the wall is leaning the other way. So down here, what is here? You can see that that's off quite a bit even though up here is fairly level so space it out and it won't matter because this side over here will have cabinets floor to ceiling so I'm not worried about that and I'll just have to fit this side in the toilet area so this is what you got to do in a cargo trailer or shuttle bus. You've got to build to what's there, which is no big deal. It just takes a little longer. This is how far out the wall is at the bottom, or how far in. That one line is just a test cut, which you can see going up the wall. Almost nothing. And that's about... Uh, four and a half feet so like I said you got to build to what you have and after scribing it to the wall it fits very nicely not that you'll see it but I know it's there looking good all right I got to get this thing trimmed off the end here get the edge trimmed off here and uh, get it clear coated because we've got more rain coming in. So I want to get at least a coat on both sides. All right, moving forward, more progress. I got this cut and fitted and both sides clear coated with a one coat. The front will get two more coats and you can see it's a little bit darker because it comes from a different part of the tree, I guess. So I'm gonna have to buy another one just like that so it'll match color over here. I'm not, so worried about it not matching the rest of it it kind of breaks it up a little bit got lots more to do keep checking back I had to move this that way three-eighths of an inch because it was not completely square with that back wall which is no big deal but then I had to cut three-eighths of an inch off here all the way down so the door would close so of course cutting it by hand it's not the straightest so what I'm going to do you can see the tape down there I'm going to put Bondo a bead of Bondo all the way down there close the door and let it set on this and that'll give me a perfect fit and then I can sand the edges lightly and when I come back and paint it you'll never even know it was there so it'll make a perfect fit again. So, Bondo mixing time. Well, this edge is done. As you know, this butts up against the uh, back door. So I've already got it fitted with Bondo, so it's a nice fit. And got it trimmed out. One more little thing done. Lots more to go.